Now there's something you don't see every day. The bush bee man sitting down reading his book. <laughs> These guys went to a lot of trouble to write this book. And I've um, just been looking at the frames and thinking, well, perhaps we better get on and adjust the screws. So I thought I'd better have a bit of a refresher. Or at any rate, you'd be surprised. Once in a while I do read the instructions, whether I actually follow them or not, that's debatable. Okay, so it reckons we've got to adjust each frame to fit the super. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to go over there, we're going to pop one off the wife's little flow hive and bring it back here and we'll twiddle around with it until we figure out what we're doing. How's that for a plan? Just being scabby trying to use up my last little bit of hessian because we only need a tiny little bit of smoke. Anyway, we'll just be slack and just get that little bit of smoke happening. Go over here and grab a frame. Doot doot. <laughs> oh. Now if you happen to have a beehive in your backyard and the ladies have found a nice feeding source and they're flying really thickly in a straight line, try not to walk into it because they do not like the idea. My lovely wife was coming out from the garden here doing a bit of pruning and the jolly ladies they saw her and they went straight through and bang and they stung her before she even had a chance to move and that was most exciting the poor lass because it bit her in the wrong spot so her eyes swelled up and all the rest of it goes on with when you get a bee sting but the upside to it was I had a, I had an out because I said well technically they're your bees they're in your yard and you wanted a bee box and so Hill, it was a saving grace really, because otherwise I would have been in all sorts of trouble. So we're out, we play around with hundreds of hives and do everything out there, and she gets stung in the backyard, so it was rather amusing. <laughs> Just give them a little bit of smoke to calm them down or give them something else to think about. That'll be a good idea, and then we'll lift their lid up, poke a little bit in there. Just let them think about that for a minute, being that I haven't got my suit on, because I don't think there's many up in the and super here. Gently, gently does it. Heck, are we hooked to something? What's that? Oh, there's a board. So we might actually put that board down lower yet. But we'll just see what they're doing. So we'll get one out. Did we even bring a hive tool, lad? God, we're slack today. <laughs> they're pretty thick down the bottom. They just not bothering because they're not there's nothing going on so they don't need to get too excited anyway we'll just pop that back on there then we'll go back and have a review about adjusting our screws we'll go back into the house for that bit anyway looking good oh right now what do we got going on mr flow book what page were we up to god somewhere page mr four so we did the part of testing it when we cracked the lever to make sure they all worked and they did that fine and we've got them back to the right setting hopefully you remember watching that you can go back and watch that if you haven't seen that bit and then we've just got a what we didn't do was this little screw here see this little screw at the end of the frame we didn't screw that out to fit snugly into the super because of course anybody who's ever made anything out of wood knows that not every box is a hundred percent perfectly the same like as if you put it out of a 3d printer because you've got a little bit of natural movement so they're very cleverly got this little adjustment screw that you can screw in and out so you can fit nice and firmly inside your super I think that's what the instructions reckon we're meant to be doing but that's what we got so I think we might have to go and get our suits on after all and go and take that super off or do it out there so you can actually do it in the garden and then we'll progress from there so let's go and get suited up and get to the next bit <laughs> righty oh, here we come back again. We'll rip and take a little lid off. All the girls are having a little bit of a quiet time. Pop that back in there for a minute. Right, now. So we'll just give them another little puff of smoke so it just keeps them a bit calm because we've been away stuffing around in there for a minute. Righty oh. So anyway, we're having a look with the screws trying to adjust the screws here so it's all nice and snug so we want a nice 
straight line at the back and a nice straight line at the front which we technically haven't got because we've got one here that's not quite in the right spot so with my fancy hive tool which is a bit at lib <laughs> we'll pop the frame up and start adjusting our screws yep. <laughs> these, these girls are just a little toey as a general rule that's why I got a bit sooky we were on the hive over there they're really friendly so we'll just start on this number one screw see how much we have to take it out a bit it's got to go out quite a bit actually to push it across nicely tell you what we might do we might actually just leave one out to make life easy and do that last mm -hmm. how's that for a plan we'll just screw that out a little bit more and pop that over here we'll just make ourselves a nice little gap so we can push them across without having to fiddle with it too much Yeah, let's get close. I don't suppose you'd want it ridiculously tight, otherwise you'd never get it out. But you want to have it reasonable. You want a nice straight edge there anyway, don't you? So I reckon that's about right. Mm -hmm. So, actually I might just wiggle that out just a tad. Swiggle that down into there. Looks good, that looks much better. Much snuggier. Well better late than never I guess. I mean we're not that much later than we should be. But we've got the screws all nice and snug. We've got a nice snug fit here, all nice and straight. So we'll pop our ladies back together. They even didn't get too excited they, that we were visiting. Didn't put the kettle on and offer me a cup of tea and a biscuit, but still, anyway. Pop that little door back on. We'll just shut that a little bit until we put that on. And then we'll sit our lid on. Or our little board for a start. So we'll make it all look pretty now. Put it all back together. What all feels like it's supposed to be. Hopefully like it's supposed to be. <laughs> it looks a little bit like Noah's Ark. It would have to be Queen's art, really, wouldn't it? I mean, otherwise it'd be a bit odd. <laughs> Pop that in there. Yeah, I see that's much better. So if you're wondering why we're going to all that fuss, you don't want the ladies having enough space to build their bloomin' populous or honeycomb or whatever else on the end of the frame here. You want to have it nice and clean, nice and snug. So as when you open your door, you don't have to contend with all of that excitement. All right. Oh, sorry. There we go. Ta-da! There you go. Floral hive installed. All we need now is some sunshine and some spring weather and some nectar and hell, then we'll come back with a jar and we'll... Hey, I reckon what we might do, we might actually bring a piece of toast out here and just eat ourselves straight out the plumbing hive. How funny would that be? Anyway, cheerio!